What happens to the other Marty, the, the new guy? Lunch was over an hour ago. No, because Marty, the new Marty, gets into the DeLorean and goes off somewhere. I never noticed that. When does he go? The length of your lunch break is not dependent on what you choose to watch during your lunch break. Bear with me. Marty McFly changes the timeline in the first, like, 80% of the movie, right? His, his parents are suddenly rich, his siblings are better, and I'm expected to believe that he winds up exactly the same after all that tinkering. I mean, Biff the Rapist is different, but... Marty, somehow, is still the kind of kid who would trust and befriend some, like, lunatic time scientist. The guy who's suddenly rich and tools around in some truck that eats other trucks. I call bad sports call on that. Foul? You cry foul? Whichever. Take cards. So new Marty was a little different than the original, but he still could have met Doc in real life. In fact, new Doc probably found new Marty himself. He knew that original Marty would return, and he also knew that if original Marty met himself, it could destroy the space-time continuum. And destroy the entire universe! So he made it work out by, you know, doing some stuff. So when Doc sends new Marty some when, it's really just to get him out of the present, because otherwise the universe is doomed. Right, and he probably didn't send him to the 50s because there's too many Martys there. 50s is lousy with Martys. It's a huge risk. Couldn't send him to the future, because original Marty, we assume, is there living his life. You know, if he was smart, he would send him to a time with no people at all. We're talking about the destruction of the universe here. The paradox must be avoided no matter what. He killed him. That kooky, fright-wig-wearing bastard killed Marty and destroyed the DeLorean. Great Scott! Original Doc dies, so new Doc can live. Original Marty lives, so new Marty must die. So Doc, what, like, tricks new Marty into the DeLorean and then sends him billions of years in the past to drown in lava? That's kind of a heavy deleted scene. It couldn't be a trick because the new Libyan shooting is exactly like the old one. Which makes sense for the Libyans because they weren't significantly altered by the events of the first movie. But new Marty, with new experiences and relatives, just happens to repeat the moment the exact same way? Come on. Doc must have told him. I mean, we saw him watch that tape over and over and over again. He knows exactly how it happened. So we must have trained new Marty, coached him, into recreating that moment. So new Marty knew Marty was coming back. He willingly time jumped to his death? Yeah. Yes, yeah! So Doc finds this new version of his old friend Marty. He befriends him. He gains his trust. He explains to him that he has to die in order to save the space-time continuum. So this is what we're doing now? We're, de we're developing Back to the Future fan fiction? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, we are. Okay, sorry. Oh. So Doc explains all the stuff to him, and new Marty, like, freaks out. So Doc has to hog time and put him in the DeLorean. And Act 2 is all about him showing him in the future, like, Jennifer and your family are all better off without you. You should be dead. And by the end of the movie, new Marty has this change of heart and agrees, so he saves the space-time continuum by destroying the DeLorean and sacrificing himself. Because Marty is a... Hi there. I've asked you to subscribe before, and you have subscribed. And in honor of that, I want to now give you a gift. I want to read you some of my erotica. Raul took off his shirt in the stables. His chest was banging. She looked at it and said, Raul, your chest is banging. Next, he went for his pants. It was the button-down kind, not the fly, so it took a little longer than normal. She sat and waited. Nay, said the horse.